How did you go about appointing a new manager at Notts County? Okay, so when obviously we parted company with uh, the previous manager, Ricardo, uh, we started to receive a considerable amount of ap applications. Um, we established a, an early criteria around the types of manager that we would want to see. That got quickly filtered into a, a long list, as we called it. We then approached a couple of people that we felt would suit that criteria. Uh, that hadn't applied. Uh, we then spent time preparing a shortlist uh, of candidates down to six. Uh, we interviewed six over two or three days, um, then reflected, came back for a second interview with Jamie, uh, and obviously then made the decision in the announcement. So it's what? been a fairly intense uh, couple of weeks. Most definitely. When did Jamie Fullerton start to grab your attention, and ultimately, why choose Jamie Fullerton as Notts County's next manager? He grabbed our attention early actually because the application came in um, and then quite by coincidence uh, I was speaking to a, a football club owner and a football club chief executive about players um, and they both took the opportunity to um, offer a recommendation which I accepted wholeheartedly. Both talked about Jamie. I didn't let them know in any way shape or form that he was under consideration. They were just recommending him for our list if you like. Um, then obviously the interview, which is a key part of um, uh, the process, he came over unbelievably well prepared, uh, very detailed, very sort of fastidious, but I think more importantly really open and very direct. Um, I've said to other people, I've, I've worked with first time managers before and quite often you feel like they've, they've been preparing themselves throughout their careers to get to this point where they're waiting for this opportunity. I worked with Brendan Rogers at Watford, who you know gave up playing in his early twenties to concentrate on coaching. Uh, I worked with Malcolm Mackay, Sean Dyche, Mark Warburton, all these guys. You always got this sense that they were preparing for the future, which is to be a football manager. And we got that feeling very, very strongly from Jamie. You'll correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure, but did quite how impressive he was take you a little bit by surprise? Um, yes and no. Um, we had an unbelievably difficult decision to make at the end of the process because the reality was that of all six candidates we would have comfortably appointed any one of the six which is an amazing situation to be in, I've never experienced that. Um, but he was the, the standout candidate in terms of best fit um, and yeah okay uh, he was impressive but so, so were a lot of the others. There are lots of county fans out there who are unimpressed with the appointment. There are a lot pointing towards the lack of experience in, in what their eyes is a similar way to Ricardo Mini's before. So what would you say to those supporters? Every manager uh, won't please everyone. And I understand uh, the history here of, uh, certainly in the, the tenure of uh, Ray and Ailing, uh, that we've had a number of first-time managers uh, of, of relative inexperience. Um, so I, I get the fans' reaction to that. My, my history obviously with Knotts is, is three months. Uh, I've had history working with first-time managers before. As I say, you know, you, you, every manager has to start somewhere. Um, this guy uh, has demonstrated a lot of the attributes, a lot of the qualities that I've seen in others. And therefore, I, I'm less... Um, uh, bothered by the fact that he's a first-time manager but I 100% understand how fans would feel here because there has been a history of first-time managers you know not succeeding. But it would seem you think you've got someone special here. Yeah I, I think he's a fantastic fit for the football club I, I think I'm not going to call him a special one don't, don't take me down that road um, <laughs> but um, no I think he's a really good fit for the football club um, as I say in terms of where we are today uh, we've been working on on plans, on football plans, business plans for the football club, they're still in, in train, um, but we have to find the best fit for where we are and where we're going, and, and Jamie is absolutely that. What's achievable this season? I'm not going to load pressure on him uh, as a manager, I think he's under enough pressure as it is, you know, we've just got to get on and he's got to show that there's a, there's a, there's a winning mentality and we, and we press on and win more games than we lose, I think that's the fundamental fact. Sure. In, in the last five years, only Sean Derry has been at the football club for longer than a year. So how much time will Jamie be given? Because 
you'll understand why some fans are saying. Well, in fact, even Ray alluded to it in his statement when he said that Ricardo was leaving the football club. You obviously you know it's chop and change managers, but really there has been quite a high turnover in recent years. So, so how much of a long term appointment is this? It's difficult to tell, but I think we we have to make a commitment to him as much as he makes a commitment to us. We're working on a, a, a planning structure, a football business plan inside of, inside an overall club business plan, and that's around squad modelling, around recruitment processes, around progression for academy players, around around identifying the right players for this football club to take us forward. So, you know, you don't turn a light on overnight with that. He needs a chance to influence that, um, to take the club forward collectively. It's important we get everyone on the same page, and I think so long as we're all on the same page, he could be here for a very, very long time um, and bring success to us, which is what we intend.